We sent notice out to the artist community and we let them submit designs and we ended up having about 150 designs come through. And what would happen is uh, a prospective sponsor would come in and if they were interested in a statue, they would look at the design book and find an artist that would kind of meet their needs. And they would either like their design or they would talk to the artist and say, well, I like your design, but can you, you know, change it a little bit to fit my needs? It's actually made up of yeah, polyurethane plastic and they're designed by a company that specializes in theme park design and water, water parks, stuff like that. So this material is really meant to be outside in the sun, in the snow for years. A lot of the Charlie Browns are just basically Charlie Brown painted different ways, but some of them have these accessories like the piggy bank, the cell phone, hard hat, the you know, shopping bag over here, and, and it's like those accessories have to be fabricated and it's, it's easy to do something if, if you think it's only just going to be for show and it maybe has to last a few days or a couple of weeks, but these have to be permanent. They have to last years, so that's the real challenge. Essentially, it's just a, Charlie Brown as the number one real estate agent in Sonoma County and <laughs> got a cell phone. He's just sold Snoopy's doghouse to him. You know, Snoopy's just bought his doghouse and, uh, you know, he's happy, so. This is the chain man, Charlie. Um, a lot of people don't really know what a chain man is, but he's, he's kind of a, a surveyor of types. You know, this will be his orange vest here, of course a hard hat, you know. He goes out and, and uh, does the land surveying, plotting, and you know, that uh, geo stuff. Charles Schultz was actually a patient at the Eye Care Institute in Santa Rosa for many years. And, um, and I wanted to do one of these statues in honor of him. Uh, I think he was just one of the most fantastic cartoonists ever and brought a lot of joy and happiness to people all over the world. It's very rare that you get 55 artists in one room working together. They get to feed off each other, the excitement's there. For most artists that I know, they end up working in a small room for months on end to prepare something and, and, they get, and it gets done and they never see it again. So the artists have banded together here, They're, every one of them is having a great time and uh, it's exciting for them. I like the interaction with uh, when the public comes in and they ask questions about how I'm doing something or why I'm doing something. That's kind of fun for me. There's group energy in this place. There's all these other artists and we're all creating at the same time. The place is just humming with the uh, creative energy. And we're all kind of like floating around each other's displays. And again, people might think it's competition, but it really isn't. It's like we're so excited for each other that we're all just trading tips and tools sometimes even. His cartoons touch humanity so deeply. I mean, it, it is just amazing to me. There's happiness, there's sorrow, there are all the human emotions there. I think my favorite character is probably Snoopy because I feel like Snoopy is kind of like more my alter ego or something, you know, the, the fun loving part, the, 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 e the strong ego, you know, that kind of thing. And also Snoopy plays tennis and I play tennis, so there's a real connection there. I think the whole thing with Charlie Brown and me is that we all identify with one character or another, you know, at one time or another. And I'm not a Charlie Brown necessarily, but I've had Charlie Brown moments. So, uh, you know, I think that's the cool thing about Charlie Brown that, that really rings a bell with me, and, and that's where the honor comes in. Beyond the tribute to my dad, it, what it really does, it really brings the community together. You know, this is an event for Sports Santa Rosa to get the community together to go out and seek these Charlie Browns out and visit neighborhoods and areas that you might never have seen. You know, so when you start pursuing the statues, you find yourself rediscovering Santa Rosa's roots and meeting the people you never would have met before. Uh -huh.